Elijah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here this afternoon to share the word of God with you. I'll be speaking on a topic, what it means to become a strong Christian. I, 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 let's kindly bow down our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We pray, O oh God, that you grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding into your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic for today's sermon is what it means to become a strong Christian. I'll be, and the scripture will be taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, finally, my reading, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. They remain spiritually weakly for the rest of their life and are tossed by the devil. There are numbers of things that characterize a good, strong Christian. You must aim to develop these attributes if you are going to be a good, strong believer. To be a, to be a strong Christian, you must, act, you must develop spirituality, maturity, holiness, zealousness, and steadfastness in the Lord. There are several different areas of our life that you must become if you are to ever be called a strong Christian. To be a strong Christian, you must develop a deeper Christian life. A cut the part Christian life in a say, a Christopher, a Tore Bia, a Quam, so in social, and I assure us here, yeah, a boom back, I say, on my bonfire sign, so radia than in social aid to him. In Piboca Caca Caya Bobon, and a radi a chasso, a radi in Piboca Caca, Aya Bono, a radi XCA, and it's a in Sierra Quapa near my now social ma, near Paba, near Pebber Radim. And so, so moon kai se e radi wo ho, moon tin tim e wo radi mu, en e radi e be di ma se ma ma mu, e radi be pe ja mu, ako soro a hime me. And to be a strong Christian, you must be... Here's a preacher! 